Can verse 13 be connected to Isaiah 63 5? The help me part? Yes, completely. I'm going to read Isaiah 63 5 in contrast to what we just read in Daniel 10 regarding how Mashiach said to Daniel, No one helps me except Michael. Now Michael will manifest, and he himself says, No one helps me except myself. <laughs> or my arm and that makes reference to Mashiach the first 63 5 says I looked but there was no one to help I looked but there was no one to help look in contrast to what we see uh, in verse verse 13 but the prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me for 21 days and behold Michael one of the chief princes came to help me came to help me for I had been left alone came to help me for I had been left alone Isaiah 63 5 regarding the second coming. I looked, but there was no one to help. So, just like Mashiach felt in the heavens, now Michael will feel on the earth, seeing himself alone with no one in the world to help him. So, Yahushua will help him. Just like Michael came down to help Mashiach in that moment in the heavens, now Mashiach will come down to the earth to help the last. So, I looked, but there was no one to help. And I wondered that there was no one to uphold. Amazing. That there was no one to uphold on the earth when he manifests as the second coming. And we see here in the last chapter that he says, But I will tell you what is noted in the scripture of truth. No one upholds me against these except Michael your prince. No one upholds me. But that is written in the scripture of truth. So when the last comes without that scripture of truth because he enters in a human body, forgets about everything and then has to read the scriptures in this reality of truth yes but interpret them while having the rest of the world with a different interpretation so it becomes kind of difficult when it comes to the flesh yet Yahweh makes it simple by giving the revelation through his spirit so it says in the scripture of truth it is noted no one upholds me against this except Michael your prince and we just read that there was no one to uphold but it is written in the scripture of truth that there is one who will come down to uphold. Because on earth, yeah, there is no one. Because Yahushua who upholds us is at the right hand of the Father. That there was no one to uphold. Therefore, my own arm brought salvation to me. That's why Yahushua is the arm and the last is the hand. When Yahweh manifests as the hand, he needs the salvation of his own arm which came 2,000 years before. So in his own plan, Yahweh saw that if he were to come in the end times, the way he needed to come, the way he had to be for justice and everything to prevail and everything that has to happen, that he would be lost because of the world in which he would be born. So he had to come a time before that, 2,000 years before that, to leave available on earth salvation a way back to himself so that when he would appear and he would feel lost he will know the way to himself so he says that there was no one to uphold therefore my own arm brought salvation to me my own arm that is amazing he saved himself because no one wanted to save him he saved himself. So that's why Yahweh saved himself by coming 2,000 years before the last. So the first saves the last. So that the last can fulfill what is needed in the plan of Yahweh. So that's why, because that was needed and that was the greatest moment in time, he had to come 2,000 years before to make that available and possible. So therefore my own arm, Yahushua, brought salvation, Shua. For me, the last. In my own fury, it sustained me. That has to do with the manifestation of the last to bring uh, judgment. That's why, just like the mercy of Mashiach sustained him, the fury of the last will sustain him in that last moment when he's about to be killed. 